Hey everybody, Dr. Scott here. A couple weeks ago, I was at the Cleveland console and arcade gaming show, and it was fantastic. It's actually the first expo I've ever gone to. There were some great vendors there, which I'll be showing a couple of them here, and you can see them description below. And you can see some of these great items. Actually, I bought a couple of these, and my daughter went crazy. Here's Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, also known as Dr. Eggman, and somebody, some brave kid here, thought he was just gonna go up against Sonic's uncle. I can't remember Sonic's uncle's name. Tell me what it is in the comments. I can't remember. But anyway, BD Retro Mods. This is what this video is mainly about. BD Retro Mods makes great aftermarket arcade sticks for just about every single retro console you can think of. Atari Jaguar, 2600, Commodore 64, TurboGrafx-16, ColecoVision. Yes, ColecoVision. If you have an old ColecoVision controller and it's dead, guess what? Brian will hook you up. And there's even some old Nintendo style TI-99 and Genesis, you name it. And he has fighting sticks here as well. Check out their website. It's bdretromods.com. Everything will be detailed down below. And of course you can see it in the video. And while well, we have a little presentation of the Atari 2600 stick that I bought and it is coming up right now. Everybody, I'm sure you know what this is. This is the classic Atari 2600 joystick. This is the Retron 77 joystick by Hyperkin. And of course, this is the Hyperkin Retron 77, which is an Atari clone or an emulator, if you will. But everybody knows the classic one button Atari joystick and these guys are approaching 50 years old. There's a lot of them out there that are not working anymore. You can't get parts for them. And you know, you're just kind of screwed if you want to play with a classic Atari joystick. It just doesn't work as it should, or it doesn't work as it could. Hyperkin decided to try to make some improvements, but they didn't do that great of a job. It does have a left and a right fire button depending upon if you're right or left handed and they did shave off this corner so it's more comfortable in the hand. It is a comfortable joystick aside from no rubber on this stick. It's just not the most precise thing in the world. It's mushy. The fire buttons I don't have, have a problem with. It just isn't the best bang for your buck and I even bought another one I was like okay you know I'm buying an, uh, you know an additional one and it would you know behave differently it's exactly the same thing it looks great it feels great but it just doesn't do the job and then we have this true arcade feel true arcade sound to it this is by BD retro mods as you've seen in the video already and it has a standard Atari plug on the end, so you can even use it on your Commodore 64 if you wish. It's 99.99% all pluses, hardly any minuses. And the only minus, as I will illustrate to me, is there's nothing on the bottom for you to put onto a table so you can keep it from moving around. So if you want to get some silicone feet for it, that'll be fine. 
That is a minor complaint. And it's not even a complaint, it's a personal choice. And you know what? For what BD Retro Mods is putting into this, I'm willing to take the whole uh, 50 cents that it's gonna cost me to go over to Walmart or to Target and buy some silicone feet and put them on there if I need them. But generally, I hold it in the hand. I don't sit it on a table. But it is an arcade joystick, so a lot of people might want to set it on a table or something on their lap. It does have convex, not concave, buttons, and you can do it for left or right, depending upon if you're right or left-handed. It feels fantastic, and you know what? It has improved my Atari games, which you will see momentarily. It has improved my Atari game scoring tenfold. I stink at Pac-Man, everybody knows that. Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, I can't play the game to save my life. I do like playing it though. However, with the right controller, you will do better. This is the right controller. I started playing Dig Dug and I got the best score I ever had ever in my entire life. Sequest, second best score, and I'm just sitting here goofing around, having fun, second best score, just goofing around as you'll see. And best score I ever had in Ms. Pac-Man. Going through those mazes like it was butter. Like it was but I tell ya. It's 3D printed. This thing's gonna last you forever. If this thing lasts you the next 50 years, I wouldn't be surprised. Check out BD Retro Mods and uh, check out all the other vendors uh, in the uh, description. Check out the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Check out BD Retro Mods. And here is Dig Dug on the Atari 2600. Actually, I picked this cartridge up at CAG as well. I Mine went missing, so I had to buy another one. Of course I did. But we are playing it here. We're not going to do play-by-play, -play, so we're going to let the video speak for itself. The next game is Sequest, and after that, of course, is Atari's Ms. Pac-Man. And you'll see how well I did on that game as well. The videos will speak for themselves. Here we go. You're still watching? It's over. Subscribe and watch our other videos like that one or that one. Subscribe. Go on. Go on. Chicka chicka.